So we have the passato prossimo subjunctive, past subjunctive, and this is beautifully logical. So this is like the passato prossimo, so you have essere and avere, which are helping verbs, and the uh, past participles end in ato, uto, ito, or any irregular. However, that particular combination is taken. So how can you make this subjunctive? All you do is make your helping verbs at the subjunctive, and then you will add ato, uto, ito, plus a, or any irregular. Okay, or essere, sia, 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 siamo, sia, ti, sia, no. The list of house verbs is always the same, and you always have to do the agreement if you have a house verb. So, of course, this applies if you have an opener. It has to be widowed. Okay, remember the widowed, wish, and all of that. And that will be either the present, the future, or a command. We'll get to that. In the main clause, then, if you have a different subject, you have ke about something that happened before. It pretty much follows the same rules as the passato prossimo, like botches, beginning and end, one time, change, etc, etc. Okay, so this is how you make the passato of the subjunctive. So, uh, io penso che lui sia andato a scuola, if it had been a girl, io penso che lei sia andata a scuola. Or, io penso che loro abbiano studiato. Fairly logical. 